Hi, this is a Dharma Trading Company video demo on Shiva Artist Paint Sticks. Shiva Paint Sticks are an oil paint in solid form. They're non-toxic, they're fade-proof, and they're permanent. They dry in about 24 hours and then can be heat set after that. They're usable on a variety of fabrics such as silk, cotton, rayon, hemp, linen, etc. They come in a variety of different colors. I've got a pack of six here and a couple individuals, but there's a number of other colors beyond this. They can also be mixed together, each with any of the others, to form your own colors and hues. One of the features about Shiva oil paint sticks is that they are self-sealing. What that means is that when they're left out, they will form a thin film around the paint. That film will lock in the moisture. It means you can actually leave these out for a couple of years, come back to them, remove the film, and they're ready to use again. Now you're going to need to remove the film anytime you leave them out for more than a few hours. And I'm going to give you a demonstration on how to do that in just a moment. The other thing I have out here today is the Shiva rubbing plates. Now what these are is essentially a raised plastic impression of various designs. This is a pack of six and the theme of this one is leaves. There's a number of other themes and other kinds of designs. I'm going to give you a demo on what those are used for as well. Okay, as I said before, one of the features of Shiva paint sticks is that they're self-sealing. When they're left out, they'll form a thin film around the paint. So as you can see right now, nothing is happening when I, when I, mark, when I write with it. So the first thing you need to do is remove that, that seal. There's two ways to do it. One is just with a piece of paper towel. You want to just twist, rub, and pinch. And that will come off right there. Another way to do that is with a knife. You can remove it by peeling away the film. And sometimes that's easier to do when the sticks have been left out for days or weeks or months or even years. Okay, before we get started, I just want to show you this. This is a grip and grip, no slip work mat. These things are really handy. What they do is you put them down on your work surface and then they prevent things from slipping around when you're working. I'll give you a quick demo of what it looks like to apply the Shiva paint sticks directly onto fabric. This here is a piece of black cotton. Just lay that out, smooth it out a little bit, take your paint stick, and then I'm just going to go ahead and start drawing. You can see that. You can mix these colors, form all sorts of effects and hues like so. There you go. Again, these come in a variety of colors and you can mix and match. You can even mix them with other oil paints. One of the other things you can do is you can have your palette off to the side. You can mix the colors together on the palette and then use a brush or other applicator to put, bring them and put them onto your fabric. Okay. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is how to use the paint sticks with the rubbing plates. This is a neat trick you can do. These rubbing plates come in packs of six, and they basically are pieces of plastic imprinted with raised designs. In this case, I'm using a leaf design. And so what you do is you lay the rubbing plate down, you lay your fabric over it, and then you rub gently with the paint stick, and the design comes through. Now I found it to be very helpful when using the rubbing plates to first lay down one of the grip and grip no slip mats. That will hold your rubbing plate in place so it doesn't move, it keeps it tight. The next thing though is when you get your piece of fabric, in this case again using a piece of black cotton, you're going to lay that over the rubbing plate. And I found that it actually helps if you tape the corners of this fabric down so that it keeps it tight over the rubbing plate. Then there's less movement when you go to use it. So I'm going to tape that down now. Okay, I know this is a little hard to see, but what I have is a piece of black fabric on top of a rubbing plate, on top of the no-slip grip and grip mat. I taped the fabric down at the four corners just so that it won't slide around on top of the rubbing plate. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently start to apply the Shiva paint stick. And so I'm just gently rubbing and you'll start to see the pattern of the rubbing plate begin to show through. Go ahead and keep doing this. 
In this case, I chose a leaf pattern, and that's going to start to come through. There you go. You want to apply the Shiva sticks gently as you do this with the rubbing plates. And what happens is wherever the plate is raised, you'll get color, and whether, wherever it's indented, you'll get dark. So this has been a very quick and brief demo on just a couple of the things you can do with the Shiva oil paint sticks. If you're interested in learning more, this is a great book. It's called Paint Sticks on Fabric, Simple Techniques, Fantastic Results by Shelley Stokes. Shelley Stokes gives an illustrated guide on just a bunch of different things you can do with paint sticks, how to do it, great ideas and tutorials. Good resource to check out. Another good resource is this DVD. It's called Paint Stick Inspirations with Laura Murray. And this is a video guide on all kinds of different techniques and effects that you can get. Another great resource. Okay, have fun and keep crafting.